In this video, we are going to take a look at inoculating a broth, uh, in this case, the 6.5 uh, sodium chloride broth for the identification of Enterococcus. And then we are also going to inoculate the slant by Alescalin, which is also for the identification of Enterococcus. So when we are uh, using plates, we oftentimes use, here we have a loop, but uh, there is another tool that we can use, and uh, that is the inoculating needle, which you can see is just the same as the loop, except it just has, it doesn't have the loop on the end of it. And uh, oftentimes when we're inoculating uh, tubes like this, we have to do a stab, and that is the main function of the needle. Uh, so in this case, we're not going to be stabbing. Here we have, this is a solid, this is the bioelectron, and this is solid, this is a slant, and this is the sodium chloride, and this is a, a liquid. Uh, later on, we get into Enterobacteriaceae, and we have to do stabs and slants simultaneously. There'll be another video for that. So first of all, uh, when we do a slant, all we're doing is just inoculating the, is all we are inoculating is the face of the slant. So I'm just going to go ahead here and take a little bit of my stock organism, Enterococcus. And then all I'm going to do is just run that needle along the face of that slant and that's all that's all we need to do now on uh, for students in my course uh, do not write on these test tubes okay because we reuse them so go ahead and take the tape that is provided to you and write whatever it is that you're putting in the tube or on the slant and then of course the date okay now inoculating the uh, sodium chloride tube is simply just a matter of picking up just a little bit of organism Oops taking the cap off and then just lowering the needle into there and you can and just swirl it around okay and that's it now generally as a rule of thumb when inoculating tubes like this is that we don't want there to be absolute an absolute seal on the top uh, with the cap so we can leave these just a little bit loose now, that being said, word of warning, you do not pick up these tubes by the cap because if the person before you put it on too loosely and you pick it up and it goes like this, what can happen is the whole thing will end up on the floor uh, broken and you're going to have a very big mess. So we're just going to go ahead and lightly put those on. Whenever we pick up these tubes, we're going to pick them up from here. And these tubes, the slants, of course, we can turn and take a look, but you do not want to be tilting a liquid broth like this. Uh, lastly, these tubes are going to be uh, incubated um, in room air at 37 degrees for overnight, so basically for 18 to 24 hours. Okay, so our bioesculin and 6.5% sodium chloride have incubated uh, overnight. Uh, 37 degrees in ambient air and you can see that it's uh, you know this is the regular tube uninoculated so it's clearly positive it's going to turn a black dark dark brown to blackish color uh, our 6.5 percent sodium chloride is what we're looking for here is simply growth so the one on the left is our Enterococcus faecalis, which grows in this in 6.5% sodium chloride. And the tube next to it is just an uninoculated tube, just to show you the difference between what a positive and what uh, a negative is.